artificial insemination can be very useful for those dogs for whatever reason will not mate uh, no matter what you do and I want to introduce you to the star of this video um, here is little Chloe who is my little stud Snouser bitch and she has beautiful litters big litters actually the biggest litters I've ever had in Snousers eight puppies at a time but she doesn't like mating and she does particularly doesn't like mating with little Shadow here who's very handsome and I can't understand why she doesn't want him but she doesn't and um, so that's why we need to help her and him get it together Now we're going to collect Shadow, he's used to this procedure. The first fraction that comes out is clear and that's a, a, like a pre-ejaculate and you can see the bottom of the test tube, it's fairly clear and then after a little while, good boy Shadow, stay boy, stay. You see it's starting to come out a little bit cloudy now, a little bit milky. You see milky drops falling down to the bottom of the test tube. That's actually the, um, the sperm rich fraction of the semen. and we collect it up into the syringe like so. Beautiful, it's all in there. And then we put it back in the water bath, which is at, still at the same temperature. I put a little bit of lubricant onto that, just so it's very easy to get it into Chloe. And you can see it's about that deep. We want to deposit the semen right at the very end of the vaginal passage. I'm being very very gentle and just sort of gently twist it. See how I'm aiming up towards the anus there. There we go. Then we just gradually and slowly depress the plunger. You can see the semen moving its way up the tube and into Chloe. That's all there is to it. She's done now. So you just pull it out like that. And there's no reason why you as a dog owner can't just go ahead there and um, make puppies happen for you.